I don't know what is going on with me, but it seems like as the day goes on, it just gets worse. Happy Monday. So last week I told you guys that I had a workshop for two days on Wednesday and Thursday. And when I left here on Tuesday, I had all my sub plans ready and I ended up getting sick Tuesday night and Wednesday and Thursday. And so I did not get to make it to my workshop unfortunately but good news is at least I had my sub plans done so it wasn't you know a huge inconvenience for me to be sick other than the fact that I was sick but Friday I still wasn't feeling 100% and honestly I'm still not feeling 100% today I've had a sore throat all weekend I haven't had a fever or anything like that but I have had a little bit of sinus drainage sneezing a little bit so yeah I just wanted to catch you guys up on that and let you know why I haven't filmed but it's Monday and I'm back and like I said I'm still not feeling 100% but definitely a little better I have been gargling with salt water and baking soda. I slept with my oil diffuser on last night with some eucalyptus oil in that, hoping that it would help. And I d my throat is still just really um, sore and scratchy. So I'm hoping that it will get better soon. But I wanted to touch base with you guys. This morning we had our lit block rotations and we did not have our small group reading time today which gave me an extra 45 minutes this morning to do literacy so we did our rotations and we actually got to do all four which was nice and my kids were really excited because usually we only get to do two or three sometimes if we're lucky and so they got to go through each rotation this morning I was able to progress monitor. My tutor wasn't here. She's actually um, part of that Title I group, and so they were at a workshop today, which was why we did not have our small groups. And then we started a new book today called Tar Beach, and I'm not a big fan of that book. It's supposed to go along with our Keeping Ourselves Healthy unit but it doesn't have anything to do with staying healthy so i'm not sure why it was chosen as an exemplar text for that unit but i did go ahead and plan some things for that book this week so i'm going to go ahead and continue for a couple of days at least and then i may throw in a scholastic nudes towards the end of the week we'll just have to see how things go with that and then we had lunch and now here I am. My kids are actually at guidance. We have guidance today, so they are there and then they will go on to music. So every other week we have guidance right before music, which is nice because guidance is 30 minutes and music is 45. So I have an hour and what is that? An hour and 15 minutes. yeah an hour and 15 minutes of excuse me planning time I am going to have to leave school a little early today not early but earlier than I usually do because I need to run by my parents house Paisley's birthday is on Wednesday and I ordered her some birthday presents on Amazon so they came yesterday or Saturday and I'm gonna run by there and pick them up this evening so I'm so excited about that she's gonna be seven on Wednesday and then her birthday party it's gonna be at Little Gym which is where she takes gymnastics so that's gonna be a super fun day and she's excited and I'm excited and I can't believe my little baby is growing up so what I'm gonna do for the next little bit is look 
over my plans for tomorrow and try to get everything ready for tomorrow so that I can get out of here ASAP this afternoon. Well, I'm gonna get some things done and I will see you guys soon. You can put them in a pile and then you pinch finger and thumb like this and then count how many you have and see how many are left if there's a hundred. Hundred? Count how many you pinched. Okay, now look on your paper. I pinched. Okay. So what's your equation? If you pinch 23. No, I don't know what happened. I just know she broke her hand. Her mom didn't say how. My brother accidentally twisted his arm. So he has to wear the same thing. 84. Good job. Now, how are you going to show what you did on there in that blank space? Good. <laughs> Can we use the marker? Yeah. Have to get the one that has our name. I just pulled out. One, two, three, four, five. We have 84 left. Yep. Did you double check? Nope. We'll double check. Okay. One, two, three. Just go to this. Highly. Here we go. So you have to four, four. My throat is still hurting. I don't know what is going on with me, but it seems like as the day goes on, it just gets worse. I feel like I'm always complaining about something, but I'm telling you guys, literally, this job is killing me. The stress that this job brings cannot be good on my health or my mental functioning or whatever, I don't know. This afternoon we did our math, which was pinching paper clips. I put my students in groups of three and gave them a bag of 100 paper clips. They were supposed to take a pinch and tell how many they pinched and then how many were still left in the bag. So basically they pinch, you know, say they pinch 12 and there's a hundred total, then they have to figure out how many were left in the bag. So they could use a hundred chart, they could use um, base 10 blocks, they could draw a number line and jump up from 12 to 100 or back from 100, 12, and get their answer that way and so we did that and that went pretty well for the most part there were not many who finished and they only had to do it three times they were just kind of chatty and off task and then we went outside and it was kind of chilly today i think the high was 43 so it was chilly and the wind was blowing I actually brought popsicles for my class on Friday and told them that if they had a good day, then they could have popsicles. Well, they ended up not having a good day. So I took the popsicles away and did not let them have them on Friday. And so then this morning I told them that if they could earn the popsicles back, then they could have them today. And unfortunately it was a cold day, but they did earn the popsicles back. So they had popsicles outside on a cold day, which is not very refreshing. 
needless to say, they still loved them and I'm glad that they had a good day. They actually got a blue paw in music and a blue paw in guidance and a point at lunch for having wildcat behavior. So I was very proud of them and they definitely deserve to have their popsicles today. For our extra 20 minutes this afternoon, all of the second grade teachers traded classes with another teacher. So last week we had the kids grouped by their reading level and ability and I had like the um, mid to high group last week, all week for that 20 minutes time period at the end of the day. And so then this week, I traded with another teacher who had all the higher kids. So I'm gonna have all the higher kids this week and we're still doing the same kind of thing with determining importance. And we read an article today about Helen Keller and that went really well. So they will come back to me tomorrow afternoon and we will continue with that. I am pretty much ready for tomorrow. My room, I straightened up a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry for being so down in the dumps and negative, but sometimes, you know, that's just how it is when you're a teacher. You have your good days and you have your bad days. And March and April are typically really hard months because spring is coming, it's getting warm outside, everyone has spring fever, the end of the year is approaching, and so yeah, I'm hoping for better days in the future. Be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know that you liked this video if you did. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. Thank you all for the comments that you're leaving. I really appreciate them and it's really fun to connect with you guys. So be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know if you have any questions or anything you would like to see in the future. I hope that you all have a great evening and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.